I know, I know. How to burn a CD? Most of you are probably thinking, who does this? Specifically in an era where music streaming services dominate the landscape of music consumption, it's important to consider alternative ways of enjoying your music. Not to mention the magic buzzword that companies love to use to win over consumers. Convenience. For me though, convenience doesn't outweigh the nostalgia and satisfaction of creating a personal time capsule. A carefully curated CD can transport you back to the moment it was made, letting you relive the thoughts and emotions that went into selecting each song. Is the convenience of streaming really worth sacrificing the tactile experience of physical media? I don't think so. In this guide, I'll walk you through my process of ripping and downloading tracks. I'll introduce you to lesser known websites where I find the highest quality FLAC files, the software I use for burning CDs, and the type of CDR that delivers the best results. Let's dive in. I'm happy you made it this far. That means you're like me and you genuinely are interested in knowing my personal process of how I burn CDs. I'm going to provide you with the golden blueprint and you can always switch up my process to make it your own. The first step in creating your CD is to source your content. And there are a few ways to do this. If you have a collection of CDs, I recommend ripping your music to your PC. As I demonstrated in a step-by-step -step video you can find right here, by ripping CDs and flag files, you'll have lossless versions of your songs to burn onto a new CD. Another option is to purchase high resolution songs online. While most marketplaces offer various quality options, CD quality should suffice for burning purposes. However, if you plan to stream the music from a database like Rune and have a DAC that can handle high resolution files, then downloading the highest resolution is the way to go. Investing an extra dollar or two could significantly enhance your listening experience. My go-to marketplace for purchasing songs is Kobuz. It's both a streaming service and an online marketplace. Not to mention it has the largest catalog of high resolution songs available out there. There are a couple of other sites where you can buy high res files from, like HD Tracks, which I have used in the past, and 7 Digital. I have seen sites like these start to disappear from the interwebs, so I would take advantage of them while they're still up and running. I remember using iTunes in my 20s because it was the only relevant alternative at the time to LimeWire and Torrents. The good old days. <laughs> but nowadays, the only people that are burning CDs like me are the ones who actually want to, not because we need to. Once you have your songs ready to burn on your CD, you gotta find software you're comfortable with to burn your disc. I don't know about you, but I am strangely comfortable with free. I like using exact audio copy because it rips the songs from my CDs and then I can burn a CD using the same platform and software. However, if you're on Windows 11, you can use Windows Media Player to burn your CD. On Macs, you could use the music app to burn a CD. CD Burner XP is another option out there that has received positive feedback. So I just wanted to throw that one out there. There are other freeware options out there, but you can look into it, but I, I like to keep it simple. I get so frustrated with programs that offer you free downloads and then you have to deal with a paywall. You will obviously need a CD DVD drive if you don't have one already. Most new PCs and laptops unfortunately don't come with optical drives anymore, so you'll probably need an external option. I use the Apple Super Drive in my setup. It's quiet, aesthetically pleasing, and works well. I use it with a PC and there aren't any compatibility issues. However, if you browse Amazon or check out the links in the description below, I will provide you with other options. Now, all you need is a fresh CDR. This is where some of you might roll your eyes at me, but I use JVC Tayo Yudin CDRs for a few reasons. Tayo Yudin is known for their top-notch quality control and super advanced manufacturing processes. They're actually the pioneers of CDR technology and have been perfecting their craft over the years. What's great about these discs is that they have a lower error rate compared to other brands. That means your precious data on the disc is less likely to get messed up or become unreadable over time. Plus they work well with all sorts of hardware, so you can be sure your burn CDs will just play just fine. Another cool thing about Tayo Yudin CDRs is their longer lifespan. Most CDRs last about, I don't know, 10 to 25 years, but these ones are known to keep your data safe even longer. They also have this awesome high quality reflective layer that makes them more readable and less prone to errors. And when it comes to audio CDs, you definitely want that smooth, uninterrupted playback, right? While they might be more expensive than the other brands, many of us find the added value worth the investment. Does this mean you can't use other brands? Absolutely not. You can use whatever you feel comfortable using. Most will be just fine. I'm just picky and weird and I want the best option available to me. 
Once you hit the burn button, the process will begin, but won't take too long. After it's finished, it will usually spit the CD out and it's ready to play on your CD player at home, in the car, or anywhere else you decide to play the CD. If you dig this shirt and want to see more hi-fi shirts, the link is down below. I will also be adding some cool stuff to my Patreon as well. Once we hit more than 10 patrons, I'll start up the monthly Discord chats. I hope this information helps, and if it did, I would love for you to force choke the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I'll see you on the next one.